Karen Queen Alexis and welcome back to the channel. Today we are answering your questions. But first, if you have a question of your own, be sure to write the word question followed by the question itself in the comment section down below. It makes it really easy to filter. I've been attacked by a cat. Look at it sleeping. It is adorable. I love my cat. But today, 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 we have a good question. A great question, if you will. One of the questions of the ages. Actually, it's a pretty decent question. Do the Chaos Gods and the Warp exist outside the Milky Way galaxy? Does some random galaxy billions of light years away that's never seen the light of the Milky Way have to contend with Sonesh demons looking like Eldar? Yes. Yes. Um, so the Warp itself is a, another dimension. It exists everywhere separate from space and time. It always exists. It's always everywhere. And it is just the parallel world to the dimension itself. So regardless of how big the galaxy is, it is there. Also, we know that the same warp exists in both settings of Warhammer Fantasy and Warhammer 40k, and technically Warhammer Age of Sigmar. And now Old World. So if you're really talented, you could time travel. Just say it. But, um... Actually, I think that just kind of answers the question. Damn, that was quick. Yeah, that, that's pretty much the answer. How do I make this longer winded? Um, okay, there's the story of Kaldor Drago going to Warhammer Fantasy and fighting a bunch of Nurgle demons. Um, so we know that it exists in the same... Uh, there's two different galaxies and there's the warp in the middle of them that they can just go between. Uh, the way I like to think of um, the way I like to think of Warhammer 40k is very similar to how uh, Dungeons and Dragons portrays their dimensions, where you have other dimensions, other planar dimensions that you can go to, and the warp is just another one of them that can interfere with the main plane, if that makes sense. Um, and yeah, uh, other life forms that are beyond the Milky Way galaxy, which always weirded me out that Games Workshop has limited Warhammer 40k with interdimensional space travel strictly to the Milky Way galaxy when we know that there are countless galaxies out there, meaning that at any one time they can bring out a new race that has just mastered intergalactic travel, which the Imperium has done with interdimensional travel, which is way better and better. Um, so it does stand to reason that other races that have yet to be discovered in other galaxies far, far away, like Star Wars, for instance, let's just say that. Let's just say that there's a race of rebels somewhere, blah, blah, blah. We're, we're not mixing them. There's just uh, some other humanoids and uh, they managed to contact the Chaos Gods or they've reached a point in their evolution where they've started manifesting psychic energies and thus uh, augmenting reality, which allowed the gods to communicate with them. Um, they would have to contend with demons and depending on how they found ways of defeating them, they might have entirely different ways of beating demons or they might just coexist with the demons. Uh, it is possible that they found a way to pacify them or just completely seal up the warp around them and or they're not evolved enough to have any type of meddling in the uh, warp itself. They might be a creature that is devoid of a soul. They might just be automata that are wandering around. Um, there's there's a billion reasons why the, uh, the realm of souls would not interfere with them. And there's a billion reasons why the realm of souls would. Uh, but their understanding of chaos might be different. They might not know of Slanesh, Nurgle, Korn, uh, Zinch, Malal, uh, the God of Order, and the... I almost named all of them. The Rat and um, Nuffel. They might not know of those Chaos Gods. Uh, they will never know of the Emperor. Uh, the Light of the Astronomicon might not go that far. That might limit intergalactic travel, is the Light of the Astronomicon only spreads to the Milky Way, and thus humans own the Milky Way galaxy. Hell, there might be Eldar that are not the craft world Eldar that have simply moved to another galaxy and then just set up shop. Like, they might just be outside of the galaxy 
just chilling in another galaxy perfectly fine the way that they were. There might be groups of Necron tier that have done very much the same thing. Instead of going with the Silent King's plan, if the Silent King is real, which we still don't know if the Silent King is actually the Silent King or if he's just a very crafty chronomancer that has locked that time stream and manipulated everyone into thinking he's the Silent King and thus gained a lot of power using Satan's shards. But that's a story for another day. In fact, Belisari's called Knight actually think that he's not. And uh, Trezine doesn't really believe in the Silent King. But that's a whole nother story. Let's move away from that. Uh, there might be races of quarks that still exist outside of the galaxy itself who have made peace and have a peaceful kingdom and thus don't have a reason to interfere with the realm of souls. And every now and then the orcs might just will the demons away. Uh, there might be Tyranids that have adapted to life on other galaxies that are much different and devoid of the hive mind that might manipulate the warp itself now. There might be gene stealer cultists of Zotes out there somewhere, which would be really cool. There might be Zotes in other galaxies. There's thousands of other different species that could exist in other galaxies that might just be totally fine. And, or maybe they, they do worship like the, uh, uh, what, what is it? What is it? The Lacrimo, I think are one that worship chaos. Um, there's also that orb thing that is a chaos demon, but is real. Um, I forget what it's called. It was in the Astartes trailer. It's the, um, oh my God, I said its name in the, in the trailer and then everyone tried to correct me and I was correct. Um, as per the norm, I'm just kidding, but, um, yeah, there, there might just be totally normal realms out there. And we do know that the chaos realm exists in the blood bowl dimension. Chaos interferes with Nuffle, but Nuffle is more powerful than the chaos gods. So yeah, there might be another galaxy where Gork and Mork are just chilling and they just forgot how to get back. So there's a lot to this, but overall, the answer is yes. The warp is everywhere. It is a parallel dimension to a real dimension. And it is always the parallel dimension, and it is the same parallel dimension to multiple realities. And multiple realities can exist at any one time in the Imperium, um, which is a whole nother thing. I could talk about how the Imperium is running four timelines at once, and I really want to at some point, at some point. But yeah, I hope that confused the ever-living shit out of you. If it did, thanks, Zinch. Good job. Um, if not, well, then yeah, Zinch also did a good job of not tricking you. He, he wanted to test your faith or your cunning ability to detect lies. Yeah, that's Zinch, all right. He can never be wrong, but he can always be wrong. But yet he could always be right and always wrong. That's Zinch, the master of... ADHD. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to leave a comment, leave a heart for Zinch because we all love him. As always, I'm Lauren Queen Alexis. I love you guys. Bye.